We're here at Flemington where racing takes centre stage on Saturday and two trainers based here at Flemington who have got several runners in on Saturday is David Hayes from Lindsay Park and John Sadler from Malua Racing. We caught up with their stable representatives this morning, Gary Fennessy and Troy Corsons. We're here with Troy Corsons from Malua Racing who have got four runners in at Flemington on Saturday and the first Troy, the two-year-old selling mayor filly by Starcraft. Yeah, she's a lovely filly, Andrew. She, uh, we purchased her with uh, Dean Harvey over in New Zealand. She's a, a lovely, well-grown filly that uh, has really sort of stuck out and, <clears throat> and we think she's a good chance at her. Uh, in the third, you've got Motorized, a horse that's uh, a three-year-old who has been a little bit unlucky in a couple of its runs uh, to date, both here at Flemington. Yeah, he was a little bit unlucky. We were, we were a touch disappointed with his last run last time in, but he'd probably had enough. So um, he goes into this race. He's had a nice spell, a nice break, and uh, we expect him to be attacking the line. The horse who won last start is Bonda Shook in race five. Uh, last start winner at Ballarat. Hadn't won for a long time before that, though. Yeah, he uh, doesn't win out of turn, but um, in fairness to the horse, he, uh, he, he, he was, does hit a bit of bad luck now and then. He sort of gets back a little bit, makes it hard. <clears throat> He's not in really well at the weights this time round, so uh, we're a little bit uh, wary of that. We just sort of couldn't get a, a claim that we really wanted to, so um, we're just a little bit wary of him at the weights, but in saying that, it's, it's not a hard race. You got D done aboard, so uh, no, uh, nothing lost there? No, no, well, that's it. I think he's uh, probably one of the best jockeys riding on the day, so we're pretty happy with that. And then we go to race seven with a gripper. Four wins and uh, four placings from his 15 starts. Last time out, beaten half a length and ran six. Uh, what are your expectations with a gripper on Saturday? It was a really good run last start. Um, Tom Sadler rode him and just suggested that we step him up to the 1,400 now. It looks a really ideal race on Saturday, and he probably goes into Saturday as our best chance for the day. Good, I was going to ask you that question. Your best for the day, a gripper in, the, in race seven? That'll do. Well, Gary, the David Hayes team have got a strong hand in at Flemington on Saturday. Uh, five runners in all at this stage, and uh, we kick off with the first race, Infinite Fortune in the two-year-old, a filly by Mossman. Yeah, nice filly. I had her down here for a while, and, and she trialled a couple of times and went back up to Eurora and had a trial up there on the Sydney leg and that. Uh, we sent her to Sydney. She just um, was a bit slow from the barriers and never really got into the race, you know. Um, she does go a lot better than that, so... Hopefully she'll, on this league, she'll get her form. Hopefully, what are your expectations for her on Saturday, given uh, her first run here in Melbourne? Oh, she's got to improve a lot on the Sydney run, um, but um, yeah, she showed us nice ability. In race two, classic cameo. Uh, hasn't run for a long time, but when she did win, um, she strung three together. Yeah, she's um, possibly the last three starts have been very unlucky. She's a filly that's... Um, tracks have probably been a bit against her she's been getting back in the fields and that uh, hopefully on this bigger surface here and, and she can get plenty of time to wind up she can um, produce Marcellus in race three a horse that uh, I think you've had a couple of issues with yeah injured attendant um, a while back there and as a young horse showed us a lot and looked a very promising sort of horse but um, he's been on a long road to come back with rehab and all that so hopefully he's you know he might take a couple of runs only had three starts, but never really been beaten too far in any of those, has he? No, no, no. And, you know, like a nice horse that we really thought a lot of. And, um, you know, hopefully he comes back and remains injury-free. Token of Honour in race four is a horse that uh, hasn't won for a long time. What, what have you been doing with him? Uh, he's been a bit frustrating, Token of Honour. He's in great order. He looks a treat. There's no real reason why he's not um, performing. He's um, possibly, we've been schooling him a bit to keep his mind on the job and hopefully, you know, at Flemington here he'll produce. His last run was encouraging, you know. And in uh, race eight, Bay's Edge, a horse that uh, hasn't raced since January as a two-year-old um, and campaigned only over in Adelaide. You've got him back here in Melbourne now. How's he tracking? Yeah, yeah, always been good. She trialled here the other week and trialled quite nicely. Um, big, strong filly and, um, you know, it was just a matter of measuring up to the class. But showed a lot, showed, you know, raced very well in Adelaide when she was racing and um, hopefully she's, um, you know, can handle it straight. Well, that's the final word from Malua Racing and Lindsay Park ahead of Saturday's big meeting here at Flemington. See you trackside.